Welcome everyone to ZINC 9001, a unit of study for those who are undertaking the Doctor of Public Leadership at UNSW Canberra. If you're wondering why you're doing this course and thinking, is it another case of a hurdle I have to jump through, uh, let me say that it might seem like a hurdle, but it's one that I think is valuable that you negotiate. Why do I say that? For most people doing the Doctor of Public Leadership program, their dissertation is the longest piece of work that's ever been produced. It's 70,000 words. So how do I structure it? Where do I start? Uh, where do I get advice? Uh, how might I best use the resources that are available within the university? All of these things are covered in ZINT 9001. So to begin at the beginning, and if I speak of my own experience, I found when I did my dissertation about 30 years ago, I didn't have the benefit of Zenit 9001 and now I wish I had. It was simply a case of there's a blank page, start writing, there's a beginning, a middle and an end. Uh, at the beginning you ask the questions, in the middle you have a go at uh, shaping an answer and you offer conclusions and that's the answer in the final few pages. A lot has happened in those 30 years thankfully and I can say that ZINT 9001 has been put together by people who have got practical experience of thesis writing and wish to share that with you. So we begin with what's the research question? Uh, how do I take my research question and apply it uh, to my whole dissertation? So it links to the methodology. Is it the right methodology? Uh, what about a literature review? Uh, what about an overview of the existing arguments? So where does my scholarship fit in with others in the field? How then do I um, arrange my work? What about interviews? What about ethics approval? All of those kinds of things. Uh, what are the disciplines of writing? Uh, who can help me? How can they help me? When can they help me? What's the role of the supervisor? Uh, what sort of milestones ought I, to, ought I to have in completing my dissertation so it's completed on time and to a standard that's first rate? Uh, all of these things are not straightforward. Uh, there's a lot of discussion that needs to be had. But we're going to let you have a discussion with people who know what to do, who've done this many times before, and are actually people who've thought about the construction of a dissertation. Uh, I think they're people with particular insights and ones they want to share with you. Now, to go from the beginning to the middle, the middle is really how should I do this course? The best thing is not to try and do it in one great big long setting. I'm going to just spend today, do the whole thing, thank you very much, in terms of the material that's presented on this website. My suggestion is that you do uh, one module each day or perhaps each week over a number of weeks because some things need to be drip fed, not force fed. Some things you just can't take in at a very great rate of knots. It has to come to you slowly. You have to reflect on it, think about it. We don't want you to get overload. This is not for completion. In other words, get to the end, tick a box. This is to acquire skills and understanding that'll help throughout your dissertation. So if it's one module a day or one module every few days or one module a week. Uh, look at the video, consider the material, then engage in the quiz. If there's anything in any of the modules that you don't understand, then ask someone. They're always pleased to be able to help. And I'm certainly always available. Uh, most of you will know both my telephone number and my email address. And I'm always happy when it comes to, mat mat to matters of method uh, to help you get where you want to go. Uh, when you get to the end of this course, there are two things that you need to do. The first thing is to produce a literature survey, and there's an explanation of what that consists of in one of the modules. The second thing that you need to do is produce a project proposal. Now, both of these things will actually appear in your dissertation. They're a bit like the first draft to make sure that we know where your work fits in with work that already exists on the one hand and the project proposal to make sure that you're asking the best questions. You've got the right methodology, you're proceeding in the right way. That's why I say this course is not just for completing, it's actually for learning, for acquiring new skills and I'm sure that you'll find it valuable. So in the end, where do we get to, to finish up? We get a literature survey, we get a project proposal, both of those things are part of the dissertation and along the way you'll know why you've done it as you have done it and be convinced as to the reasons. So I hope you enjoy this course. Uh, I look forward to interacting with you and hearing about all the skills and abilities that you will acquire over the next few weeks. So best wishes.